Good morning, everyone. Andrew Pinkoff from Kanwa Defense Review. Today, we talk about Chinese aircraft carrier. Where is a carrier based aircraft of Chinese aircraft carrier? According to the design requirements of the Liaolin Type 001 and the Shandong Type 002 aircraft carriers, the two carriers are supposed to be equipped with 48 J-15 carrier-based fighters. J-15 is here. Two J-15s. However, As of the end of last year, the number of J-15s pro produced would not exceed 33. And 24 J-15s are deployed at a Navy flight test center and belong to the Liaolin. Well, the Navy Aviation University has produced at least three J-15s. Here is a Navy Aviation Training Center in Huruda. The total number of J-15s deployed on the Shandong does not exceed seven. The training footage in October 2020, last year, showed that there were only three J-15s on the deck. See the first pictures. One, two, here only three. One, two, three. Satellite images in December 2019 found that Sandon had seven J 15s deployed on deck. I think some of them may have been borrowed from the Liaoli. When Xi Jinping inspected the Sandong aircraft carrier received by the Chinese Navy, only 10 J-15 pilots appeared in the collective photo. This shows that there is a serious shortage of pilots. It is also seriously affecting the service of the J-15, which is quite normal from the beginning of the Soviet era to the Russian Navy, the Kuznetsov-class aircraft carrier had a serious footage of pilots. I researched Kuznetsov in Murmansk harbor. Most of the time, parking there. The Kuznetsov class aircraft carrier had a serious shortage of pilots, and most of them had an average age of 35 years old. Quite difficult training they did. The production technology of J-15 is very complicated, and there are many procedures. So, the production speed, speed cannot be accelerated and the scale of production is several J-15s every year. How? How long does it take to fully assemble 24 J-15s and train pilots? Therefore, the current Shandong carrier is basically a toothless tiger. No plan. Why can China mass produce J15, J16? Why can China mass produce J16 but can't produce J15 quickly? This is a very important point. The J16 
is an imitation of Su-30 MKK. And the Su-30 series aircrafts are originated from Su-27 UB, export version UBK. Ukraine has maintenance drawings of the Su-27 UBK. And China has obtained these drawings in 1990s. In the earlier days, China's Su-27 SK and the Su-27 UBK were overhauled in Ukraine. The J-15 is an imitation of T-10K-7, which also came from Ukraine. At that time, T-10K-7 was in the test flight stage in Litka, Crimea, and Ukraine has no drawings. China bought this T-10K-7 and imitated it by itself. The structure of Su-33 and Su-27 UB are quite different. 90% of the Su-33 fuselage has been redesigned. The information that can be confirmed is that for the whole year of last year, 2020, Shenyang Aircraft, Care, Aircraft Factory still mainly produce J-16 fighters and the production quantity of J-15s were in single digits. There were almost no major production activities from June to October last year. It is, it is because of Wuhan pneumonia that part of the production was suspended, I think. Shandong carrier still deploys 24 J-15. I officially confirmed that the Shandong carrier harbored in Shanya is still equipped with 24, uh, will be equipped with 24 J-15s. And the newly built 24 fighter hangars at Linshui Airport are in preparation for the deployment of J-15s on the Shandong. See the picture, please. Lin Shui, Navy Air Base. Here, 24 hangars now under building. China is also continuing to improve the J-15. In 2016, the first catapult type J-15 was shipped, called J-15T, using China's domestically produced WS-10 engine. In 2019, the first EW type J-15D was shipped, but these aircrafts have not yet entered mass production. Let's see the pictures, very interesting pictures. See the training first. This is the Shenzhen Hurudao Navy Aviation Training Center. Two J-15s here. This is a ski jump. The J-15 which took off during ground training did not use a ski jump deck. See? I analyzed, I analyzed this picture released by CCTV recently. Here is a Shenzhen training center. Here is the ground. See the angle of J-15. I do think it took off from runway, not ski jump. It's 14 degrees here, ski jump. It is very difficult for pilots.
to mass the takeoff technology, cease landing training. Oh my god. The four hawks here each. One, two, three, four. In many cases, J-15 slipped out of the deck. See here? In print. So deep. If it is a real aircraft, aircraft carrier, it means falling into the sea. And uh, another simulator saying, so deep in print. And uh, very interesting, the Shandong aircraft carrier that entered service in December 2019 returned to the shipyard from February to June last year. It means not almost a time staying factory. Shipyard here. Yeah. Here, maybe decoration. Yeah, and the only thing, most of the time, one year I think just uh, go on the sea for training once or twice. Always parking in the harbor. This is today's news. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see each other next week. Bye-bye.